Welcome back, everyone. While high school classes are beginning around the state, high school athletes have actually been back practicing for over a week. Many are doing it, though, while waiting for some really important safety gear, including football helmets. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins is on the case. He's live in Hamden for us right now with more on what's really become, Mark, a problem statewide, right? Well, yeah, that's true, and it depends. Uh, you know, if you ask a question, are you going to have trouble? It depends. That's the answer. It sounds like a cop out, but it really does matter where you are, what school you are, you're 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 playing for, and what type of equipment you need that may or may not put you in a shortage situation. Here at Hamden High, the Green Dragons plowed through a hot practice in full pads. A good problem for us this year was we had more kids come out for football than we've had in forever, actually. Um, and so as kids were signing up online through the registration process, my, my head football coach, Chad Neal, would send me a message. Hey, we're, we need five more helmets. Hey, we need 10 more helmets. We need eight more helmets. And I reached out to our supplier stadium. Uh, we were able to secure 10 helmets, new purchased 10 brand new helmets. And then more kids signed up and, um, Stadium was out of helmets. EO Smith, luckily for us, EO Smith had six helmets that they had purchased this year that they did not need. We have to wait for the new fiscal year before we order here. And, and uh, you know, our suppliers are upfront and honest about when they could get things. And they've all done a good job of trying to really work through all this. Yeah, COVID-19, that pandemic really did some damage to the world of shipping. Supply chain issues have caused delays in all sorts of products, athletic equipment included. Doesn't matter the sport, and it was a problem many saw coming. We knew from our vendor that we use, uh, Rydell, that uh, in December that there could be some, some delays, so get your orders in as soon as you can. And while many saw the problems on the horizon, no one is confident to predict an end to the issues. But the only thing I've been told is that this is there's no end in sight in the supply chain issues. Yeah, so no end in sight. That's kind of the scary part of it. But right now, these schools, they're going to monitor their equipment. If they have excess, they're going to keep it at the ready for themselves. And as you heard, maybe even for a neighbor. Reporting live in Hamden, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.